Hello, Paul here. I'm at a bit of a loose end, so I'm going to do a quick video, or as quick as I can, uh, to show you how to use MemberPress, memberpress.com, to create a membership site on your WordPress site. So, the Bermuda Corona League is a football league website I manage and help run. It's basically a football, uh, it's a league in Bermuda. So, just going to jump in, I'm going to fly through it, and hopefully um, you will see a benefit. So, plugins, I'm guessing you already know how to add a plugin, how to um, install, login, whatever you're doing. So, I'm going to whip through this bit. So, download, I'm going to grab my membership, member press developer license, sorry, plugin. And install it and it will install eventually it's not on the world's greatest host in this website I will say but um, we may deal with that soon so it's on a quite a cheap hosting so it's a little bit slow so I may cut bits out and jump along Action required, install Aweber, blah, blah, blah. I've had this before, you won't actually get that first. So you're going to go to member press, uh, settings, options. Uh, install Aweber, don't show me this. It, it's because I've had it on this site before with an Aweber link, it's showing me that you wouldn't get that. You would, um, I'll show you where that is, but you won't get it. So membership thank you page, it converts all the page, account. If you want to change these, you just change them. Slugs, redirect to unauthor unauthorized visitors, show an excerpt to unauthorized. So yeah, you can, depends how you want to put in when you want to lock your pages down. So I may not show you how to lock pages down in this video, but I'm going to show you quickly. Oh, the options, disable the WordPress admin, allow members to cancel, yes. Keep members out of the WordPress dashboard, I would say yes. Allow members to pause and resume their subscription. Depends what you're using it for, right? Disable the form, yes. Enable coupons, members, there's all sorts of settings, but I'm gonna whip through it and just get you to a point where you will understand um, what we're getting to. So what I'm gonna say, right, so, so this is a football league website. I'm going to do a membership where we collect funds once a year from these football teams to be a part of the league, right? So you would set up your payment method in whatever it'll be. So for me, it'd be Stripe. You'd add your key, your test mode key. So what I'll do is I'll pause you. I'll add my information, save it and jump on. So I added my test key and my uh, publishable key test mode. Um, when you, if you use Stripe, you know you'll get a test key and a and a active key. So when you put when that works, you just you put your active keys in and get rid of test. And what I'm also going to add is a uh, pay when you see me for you people that may want offline payments. So I'm going to say, pay when you see me. You may or may not want that, but those are two payment options. You can also have PayPal, PayPal standard, authorized.net, I've never used that. Uh, so you can use PayPal Stripe or cash in hand, or you know what I mean, cash over the till. So then what you do, so. I'm going really basic with this, memberships. You go to memberships now and you create a new membership. So, uh, because this is a, a football league website, I'm gonna put team annual membership, right? It's obviously a test, it's not actually happening. Up here is the price, so I'm gonna say it's $200 a year. Billing frequency, you can do a lifetime membership option you can do recurring, so I'm going to do this recurring yearly. It's no no trial period, no limited payments. Everything else for now can stay as default. There's lots of funky things you can do. You can add your price box and your features and all that sort of stuff so it shows up when you are 
doing other stuff and you can add access levels and stuff. At the moment, we're just concentrating on getting money out of people for a membership. So membership page is created. Because I'm logged in, it'll just ask if I want to join this membership. So if I sign up, it should send me to a page with credit card information. I'm going to put in the Stripe test number, put in a fake date, put in a CVC and submit. And that's as easy as it is to set up a membership. So now it says thank you. You can edit the thank you page. You know, it's just a regular page in your in your WordPress um, that you can change. You can edit the emails that go out. You can add people to subscriber newsletters. You can do all sorts of things um, from that level. So what you can do is, let me just roll you through another few options. Now the reason uh, some subscriptions is here so there's your 200 annual subscription using Stripe, IP stuff, transactions will be not gone through yet. I'm not sure what transactions is, but um, so your subscriptions is there. The, the reason, uh, and I'm not going to go through it all, but the reason I went with MemberPress was because you can partially refund and refund stuff and pro rate stuff and that's why I chose member press because there's a lot of things you can do within the payment structure that you can edit and change so there's your payment if you wanted to lock something down you would go to add new rule you would say uh, if you wanted to block all your blog posts uh, you would click on all posts, click the subscription that's allowed to use it, um, show a default login form, a default message, you can customise a message, you're not allowed in here or whatever, or show the default one. Uh, and the, you could show excerpts if that's what you've decided to show people. So I don't know if, um, I'm going to lock all the content down for a bit, which might scare a few people so if I lock all content and then go on a different browser to fixtures I'm gonna get a message you are unauthorized to view this page you know BTC cup you are unauthorized to look to view this page so you would have a login page for your member so I don't know what it is on this site actually So, so let me just show you that as a, um, as a full process. So what you would have is you've got your membership page, right? You've got your membership link. So you would forward people to this membership page. So you grab, grab your link, which is here. I'm going to open it in another browser and then I'm going to go membership page, annual team membership, you would fill in your name, fill in your username, test, right, I'm 23, fill in a email address, fill in a password, oh, and if you've got a coupon, you can turn that on or off. Pay with Stripe or pay when you see me. Sign up should take you to a sign up page where you're going to put in your uh, details, submit, and then you will go to the thank you page, which again can be changed. There would be, you would have like account options up here then. You'd be like my account, my page. This website isn't set up menu wise for all this stuff. But now you can go and browse around the website freely because you've been, you've unlocked that content. So you can see how easy it is to add a member, add a, add a membership and then lock a page down. So 
there's a load of things this can do. There's lots, lots more it can do. You can add, you can tie it to user roles, and you can change subscriptions, and you can. Um, I don't. It's pretty much unlimited. It's a really cool tool. Uh, you're gonna see subscriptions cancelled, pending money, uh, money going through, um, view transaction. You can you can do all sorts with it, and uh, it's a funky, easy to use membership site. It will take tax. It'll put the tax information in. Um, Trying to think, I'm losing myself in trying to go fast. But you can set up funky emails. You can add, um, you can enable it to your newsletter marketing to so get them to sign up for your newsletter at the same time and give them free trials. Um, you can change how people can, how many pages on your website you can see. Um, Many, many things that you can do to create a very easy way to get membership money from people. So for a website like for a, uh, I work with a lot of sports teams who have subscriptions for uh, annual fees and they don't have a way of getting money online easily. So this is a really easy way to set up monthly fees where you don't have to use a book and a, and a spreadsheet. You just set up a, you just go, you know, annual swimming fees or something when you're monthly, monthly training pitch. So if this was, you'd say monthly training uh, rental. Yeah, so if somebody books a, your football pitch out every month, you'd go 50 quid recurring monthly uh, limited payment cycles might be six months, uh, publish. And again, you can tinker with the links, tinker with the emails it sends you. So you could say, send a membership specific email. So you could edit it saying, thanks for purchasing. Now, now we'll go to this link to view schedule or something. If you had, if you had a pitch calendar or something, I don't know, you'd save it and you'd, you'd tinker with it, uh, whatever you'd want to. So you, have so many options to uh, do whatever you need to do if you're a sports team trying to get um, membership payments up and running. So Stripe's pretty good. Was it 1%? 1% in Europe plus 20p on every transaction. Um, I think it's 2% outside of Europe. Uh, PayPal, obviously, they've got their fees. You'd have to see their fees. Uh, pay as you go. Pay you when you see me would send you a message where you would have to verify that payment, saying they've paid or tr bank transfer or whatever that is. Um, and you'd get the emails to prove it. I think I've, I've not checking that, that website's email. Um, so I hope that helped. Um, hope it made some sort of sense. I know I rattled through it. If you've got any questions, paulnicholson.com, uh, send me a question. If you want to trial member press, send me a message and uh, we can have a chat and I can, I can, I have a developer license. It's usually a hundred dollars a year, but if you want to work with me on getting you some sort of membership uh, plugin working, send me a message, support down here, look. Just send me a message and we can have a chat about getting you up and running on a on a membership site so and again hopefully it helped speak to you all again soon thanks for watching